During the height of World War II and the German invasion into Russia, as the German army started its offensive towards Moscow, many factories were relocated far from Moscow to remote locations, including the entire Vostok factory and its workers that were hurriedly relocated 1300 kilometers east to Chistopol. During the war, the factory turned its attention to producing defense equipment for the Soviet military. As the war ended, they once again started producing mechanical wristwatches for the civilian market. The Vostok brand was first introduced in the 1960s. Vostok translated to English simply means East. The choice of this name was most likely influenced by the Russian Vostok space program at the time that succeeded in placing the first human into space, Yuri Gagarin, in the Vostok 1 on April 12, 1961. Vostok watches have an even closer connection to space. In 1975, a Soviet cosmonaut Grenchko took his personal Vostok amphibia with him on the Soyuz 17 spacecraft to the Soviet space station Salyut 4. The watch performed perfectly and Grenchko made a personal thank you to the Vostok factory upon his return to Earth. Also, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Romanenko wore a Vostok watch during the Soyuz 38 mission in 1980. Also a side note, one of my favorite Hollywood actors, Bill Murray, wore a Vostok amphibian in the 2004 movie The Life of Aquatic with Steve Zissou. The movie is both a parody and a homage to the real-life story of French diving pioneer Jacques Cousteau. The amphibian models like the one I have here today were first created in 1967 and are still in full production to this day. There are now many many dial colors and design variations available. In 2022, 55 years later, the mechanical construction and specifications of these watches remains largely unchanged from their original conception. The designing team at Vostok were Mikhail Novakov and Vera Bilova, who were given the task of creating a durable mechanical watch suitable for deep sea military diving missions. There were already capable Swiss-made dive watches at the time that they could have copied and reproduced, but the machinery available to them could not produce such watches. Also for cost reasons they could not infringe on any Swiss design patents. So they designed a watch completely from scratch using only the Russian machinery and materials available to them. Their design theory was simple and ingenious. Firstly there is the two-piece case back and large rubber gasket inside. Rather than the more common screw down case backs that require the force of tightening onto a small rubber o-ring to keep the water resistance, the Vostok design uses the natural forces of water pressure when diving. Simply put the deeper you dive, the increasing water pressure pushes this thick stainless steel case back deeper into the large rubber gasket inside. And a similar principle applies to the very special domed acrylic crystal. Three millimeters thick and incredibly machined to fit perfectly into the case, with an exact tolerance to flatten and push deeper into the case with the increasing water pressure when diving. The crystal will actually flatten by as much as 0.5 millimeters. These domed acrylic crystals are very beautiful to look at but can scratch easily and somehow I managed to get a three millimeter scratch on mine last week. I was really upset about this as this particular watch is very special to me but then I remembered I had poly watch. A few minutes of rubbing into the scratch and now it's like new again so I'm really pleased with that. Always handy to have a tube of poly watch around. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to find out more about this amazing product. Both the case back and crystal have been proven to provide 200 meters water resistance and have been successfully tested way beyond this. And you have to remember that these Vostok designs were calculated and created some 55 years ago, way before the benefits of modern computers. And then there is the movement, also made completely in-house including the synthetic jewels. Although not known for great accuracy, mine runs at plus 20 seconds per day. These robust automatic movements are more famously known for their remarkable 10-year service interval period. Also there is the ingenious clutch mechanism to the crown that reduces stress to the stem when setting the time. The design gives this very unusual wobbly crown effect when unscrewed and pulled out to the time setting position. The Vostok movements are non-hacking and offer no quick set date feature. There is a simple hack for setting a date in the quickest way, manually winding the hands past midnight, then rolling back to around 8.30 p.m., then falls again to midnight to change the date. Simply repeat until you reach the correct date. 
Once you've done this a few times, it's really no big deal. I find it's all part of the charm of owning a Vostok watch. There is loom on the hands, tip of the second hand, applied hour markers and pip of the bezel, although not very bright or long lasting. The Vostok model I have with me here today is the Amphibium Neptune. A mirror polished solid stainless steel case, 42 millimeters in diameter between the two and eight o'clock positions, 40 millimeters between the three and nine o'clock position. 39 millimeter case length and 16 millimeters thick to that beautifully domed Vostok acrylic crystal. The screw down crown with the Vostok embossed logo, date display at the six o'clock position and the Vostok 2416B automatic movement inside with 31 joules and a 31 hour power reserve when fully wound. A very nice Vostok Neptune logo engraved on the solid stainless steel case back and the 200 meters water resistance rating. 20 millimeter stainless steel bracelet tapers nicely down to 18 millimeters at the clasp. Stainless steel bi-directional red and black bezel, no ratcheting, just the unique silent bi-directional friction action of a Vostok amphibian watch. My one is extremely tight, so I won't even try to demonstrate rotating it with these gloves on. You can remove the bezel and adjust them, but it's not important to me, so I won't remove it at the risk of getting another scratch on the watch. On the front of the watch dial, you have all text written in Russian Cyrillic letters. On the first line reads Amphibia, meaning amphibian in English. Then we have a Neptune, meaning Neptune in English. And then we have 31 Carmen meaning 31 stones or 31 synthetic rubies in this case. And lastly, we have Sedalano of Rossi, meaning made in Russia. Please excuse my Russian pronunciations. I love the black dial on this model with the horizontal lines representing the sea and the plain black dial above representing the land, hence the name amphibian. Really today's video was to discuss more about the incredible history of a watch brand that can be super affordable to get into and is a lot of fun to collect. All this rich history and a watch made entirely in-house since 1942 in Russia. Many models can be found for less than $200 including this one. Check out the links in the description to the best deals. Let me know what you think about Vostok watches. I love talking all things watches with fellow watch enthusiasts and I always reply. Have a great day, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next episode of Cool Watch Reviews. Bye for now.